Hi, I'm Tom Johnson and I have Nash and I'm here today to talk about my journey and I hope by listening to me it helps you in your journey. A few years, well, maybe 20 years ago, I had my gallbladder up. And at that time, the doctor told me that I had a fatty liver. And I thought to myself, well, what does that mean? And there was really no discussion about what does it mean to have a fatty, have a fatty liver? What could you be doing about it? And I knew that I was overweight, and I could see that, that you know, I was overweight, so I could see the fat in my body or my face, but I never really thought that my liver was fat. Well, when I was first diagnosed, once again, I was like, okay, I, I'm going to hear about that and read about it. And I went into a research study and met uh, once a month and went in and had blood work done. And I had a liver biopsy and I had an MRI and I had lots of tests done. And I thought, wow, this is great because I'm really, they're checking my health and making sure that I'm staying on top of things and making sure that I'm not progressing. And um, I thought that was a, a great thing for me to be a part of. And then, you know, some of it I wouldn't pay as much attention to. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, my sister, my older sister, got diagnosed with bile duct cancer. And she had a um, tumor in her liver that was eight and a half by five and a half. The thing that really finally made me wake up was I was at her house and I had my insulin and I wasn't taking it and then I took it and I said I had just eaten a candy bar and she was like that doesn't make sense she goes you don't want to get sick and her telling me that somebody that had cancer and was sick and wasn't doing well to hear her tell me to my face you don't want to be where I am and I totally woke up. That's what did it. So um, unfortunately she passed away in August of 2017 but you know it was really kind of a um, wake up. This is serious. You've got to pay attention to this. My advice to you if you've been recently diagnosed with NASH is to you know I just think you need to be knowledgeable about what's going on with you and, and take, take every opportunity to, to find out if there's new information or new things that you could be doing. But um, I think just staying informed and staying in contact with your doctors and nurses and finding out if there's anything else that you can do to help yourself or help others. I turned 60 last um, July and I want to live a long life. I want to enjoy the retirement that I worked so hard for and so uh, I just want to pay attention and make sure that I'm doing all the right stuff.